25 years, more team in this year, more 94. You know, it's your morning after. Big O's in the building. Yep, yeah. Let me look at the zoom. Yeah. Big O's, everybody feeling good, man. Christmas is definitely in the air. And of course, it's about that time for us to holler at Romy, Romy, Rome. This is the last time we're going to talk to Jerome until after the holidays for sure. Maybe on Tuesday, we might holler at each other. If not, definitely in the new year, we'll get back in full swing with our sideline sport report. But for now, let's see what's been going on in sports and uh, then we'll do our Christmas. Christmas, you know, goodbyes and all that good stuff for me. But right now, yeah, sit him with the report, man. What's good, my brother? Hey, Doc, good morning, man. We got good morning, Bahamas. This is Starlight Sports and Entertainment Bahamas. 10 cents on the sidelines and the airlines. Here only on 184.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on the 24 Jim Frank Station that I have into this sport and report. And um, I guess this qualifies as the local side. Um, the Bahamas Bowl or ESPN, they'll actually be airing the Mongo. Um, the Amish Bowl, that's going to be on ESPN tonight at 7 p.m. And um, again, like I said, we'll be airing the inaugural bowl that took place here in the Bahamas. Since um, they couldn't make it down here this year, you know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, they said that it was all right, they back some memories. Hey, also, you, know, you know what that does, though? What that says to me, that says that there's a very good chance that they're going to bring the bowl back. Remember we were talking, like, once, you know, when things end, it was not as kind of hard to get them to come right back and, you know, do yeah. it again. But the that fact that they want to, you know, replay the old one, man, said this this might actually be our spot. They might actually say, you know what, this is going to be the Bahamas Bowl spot on TV every year. Uh, look forward to it. So they're playing an the older one. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man, and especially in the time. Um, also, um, in conjunction with the, with the re-airing of the telecast, um, ESPN and the Bahamas Bowl, they're actually conducting a social media photo contest for the best picture of the game or, you know, our travel experience or time, family events, basically for students who enjoy the game or participate in the game. Uh, so you can go ahead and post your pictures or any activities that you may have been participating on Twitter and Facebook and um, just attack the hashtag, four games are better in the Bahamas. And we have a chance um, to win uh, prizes from the Bahamas Bowl. And that's also on Facebook as well. So the contest runs through January 1st. So again, folks, here's another opportunity for us to um, spend some of the fun that we have um, while the uh, Bahamas Bowl is down here at the Bahamas. Go ahead and check it out. You can always go to BahamasBowl.com and um, get the details and enter into that contest as well. Now on to some international sport. Um, of course, we got, um, well, tomorrow we got some NFL football. Uh, two games on the schedule. Well, it's just the one game on the schedule. It's going to be the Vikings and the Saints. Any books? We got there, man. Uh, I'm going to go with the Saints on that one. No, I, I, I rate the Saints. I rate the Saints highly. Yeah. So I'm going to ride with the Saints on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought uh, Drew Brees is back. Is, is back as well from his injury. I thought he was going to be out to the team. But um, yeah, it's where he wants to make a statement before the season ends. I'm with you. I'm going with the Saints on that one as well. Um, a couple of games. Uh, first, before we get into the scoreboard for the NBA yesterday, so, um, James Harden has been fined $50,000 in violation of COVID protocols. Apparently, he was hanging out at the strip club after being there uh, before the game, and they seem to be in jeopardy last night, uh, which was canceled because, um, of course, you know, he was mingling with some other folks, two members were mingling with him. So, um, they were like, yeah, game was canceled, and he was charged for $2,000. Now, this, that takes us to the scoreboard from the Last night, uh, quite a few games, man. The Cavaliers over the Hornets last night, 121 to 114 in final score. Uh, the Pacers over the next 121 to 107. The Magic, uh, they pulled out a 5-3 over last night, uh, 107 to 113. It was a good game, though, good game. Um, 76 was over the Wizards last night, 113 to 107, man. Russell Rush lost with, with a triple double last night, 21 points. Um, 11 rebounds, 15 and 6. So, um, just picking up where he left off, man. Um, Celtics over the Bucks, over the Bucks just by one point, um, 122 to 121. Uh, Giannis missed a, a crucial three, three point in that game. Uh, he says, yeah, he's definitely going to learn from that experience. Um, the Pelicans over the Raptors, 113 to 99. The Hawks over the Bulls, 124 to 104. The Spurs over the Grizzlies, 131 to 19. To 119. The Timberwolves over the Pistons, 111 to 1. 
to 101. The Kings beat the Nuggets last night, 124 to 122. Over here, the game winning ticket last night, man. Also finishing with 22 points, four rebounds, three assists, and a steal in that game for Teddy. Way to go, buddy. Shout out to him on that, on that game last night. Uh, also pulling out the game winner. Uh, the Jazz over the Trailblazers, 120 to 100. And the late year was the Suns over the Mavericks, 106 to 102. The Suns coming out with that win. Uh, just some of the stats from that. I am from my dear man. Luca Banka, uh, Duke, yeah, he was looking great during that game. Hold on, 32 points in that game. Um, also, I'll send him the story of DeAndre Ayton. Uh, he had 13 points in that game, 8 rebounds, and it's just also a steal in that game. Shouts out to those guys again, doing good in the NBA, making the first, and, um, you know, doing good for the country and for themselves. Uh, but um, also, we got a couple games on the, of course, you know, it's Christmas Day. So, you know, we do have games on the schedule for tomorrow. And um, we got at 12 o'clock, we got the Pelicans at 2 2.30, we got the Warriors and the Bucks. And then at 5 p.m., we have the Nets and Celtics. And we, um, we got a couple of late games at 8 o'clock. We got the Abbott and Lakers. That's going to be really good. And the late late game is at 10.30, which will be the Clippers and Nuggets. So then you have your sports lineup for the weekend and Christmas Day. And um, with that being said, we're young. Um, I guess I get to wish everybody a uh, happy and merry Christmas. Enjoy the holidays. Um, you too as well, man. I'm sure, I'm sure um, LJ is uh, looking forward and excited to to, to spend call. time with his daddy. That's all he's getting. Yeah. Quality time. So quality I am. That's what the LJ is getting. <laughs> Thank you, Roman, for sure. Merry Christmas as well, my brother. Happy you all be safe and uh, we look forward to doing this again as soon as possible. All right? Yeah, man, definitely. We good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it out of the We got to take a quick commercial break. Right? Yeah, though, once we get back, we'll officially into the 9 o'clock hour and uh, we keep going with the best music on the planet. It's more 94. Good morning.